Okay, now we're going to go through the VBA input box. So I went over here to the document and I'm going to select this bit of text. I've just done that. And I pasted it right here. So, kind of the, to overview this, well, I want to format it and uh, explain it as I go. So, a dim SQR number of strings. So, I'm dimming, dimensioning an SQR number variable as a string. Okay. And this is a spike comment. Notice how it's green and it has a posture before it. Show an input box to accept a numerical value. Okay, great. So now I'm going to set that equal to something. So application dot input box. Now notice how I have this application. Well, the, with Excel, I have to put the application in front of it because it's part of the Excel application. In regular Visual Basic, I don't have to have that. I can just go to input use input box. But in Excel, I have to have an application dot input box. And it's real important to remember that you need to make sure that you put the application in front of it. So application dot input box, enter, and the name of this is going to be called enter a number. Then I have my next comment, show user a message based on their entry. Okay. So whatever their user, what, whatever they've said, uh, I'm going to reply with the message box. Whatever they put into it, so that entering number, I'm going to reply with the number they entered. So I'm going to go ahead and press F5. Bang, it says entering number, which is good. Okay, I'm going to enter the number 32. The bang, 32. It responds back with a 32 because that's the number entered. Again, uh, now I'm typing in 65. It should reply back with 65. 65. It replies back, so that's what I said. And again, I ran that by pressing this this little arrowhead to the right, run, or pressing F5 on your keyboard. Now, if I want to step through the code. So I want to, I want this little yellow marker to uh, to show me the show me what's going on. I can press this. Uh, I can press F8. And here I say what's but right now I know that my number is nothing right now. Okay, uh, I dimension this also as a string just so that because anybody can type in anything in here. So by using a string, um, I can avoid errors. And uh, if they put in um, A, they want to be funny and put in A, well then it's a string already, it's not a number. So I don't have to really check for it here. So if uh, uh, that's why I put it as a string variable. I can convert it later on. There's a video uh, later on, and it's a it's a convert. You can convert the to a number uh, after you've or after you've already inputted it. So uh, right at this point, I want to see. Okay, enter a number. I'm pressing F8. I get this. Enter a number 54. Bang. And I'm still remember. I'm still stepping through the code. Best box. Now I can see the variable. Oh, it's 54. Best box is going to be 54. Okay. Then I press F8 again. Now, if I want to stop at this point, I want to run it. Let's say I have 50 lines of code, but I want to stop at this one point and see what the end result is before it's done. I can put a break point here. And that, again, I just click off to this left border and put type uh, click with the left mouse button. And I get this little dot. Okay, it's like a reddish dot. Okay, and then I can press F5 and run the code. 62. And then bang, it stops right there. I don't have to do nothing else. 
So I know that. Oh, it's a. It's going to be a sixty-two. That's a real helpful, helpful item. So any of those three F, uh, F five, F eight, or breakpoint. Those are going to be useful, useful items. So uh, here's my message box. The way you get rid of the uh, breakpoint is by clicking on the re-clicking on the on the little dot so I can do it, enable it or disable it. Now I'm going to get a little more advanced let's see if we can figure this out more advanced okay now I've input box number two I have all this so I'm going to go ahead and from the sub to the end sub okay, anything that's in blue here Sub to the end sub. There's all going to be a public sub. So now when I just go ahead and oh, okay, public sub input box two. So I have my. I'm going to go ahead and press uh, press enter to go down. Okay, anything below this, I'm not going to not going to deal with it right now. So I dimension my first as a number the second the dbl number as a double you see that's where i accept the input that's where i convert it and that's where i stick my uh, output my message so first of all i'm going to show an input by accepting the numeric value and put the inner value to a string string data type okay you can take these windows and move them okay they're mobile you can Go right on this, and you see the double sided arrow. You can click and drag it to the left, to the right. Okay, and so the string data type. Now, next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that uh, anything that I enter into this input box, I'm going to enter a number. Let's see what the second argument is. Okay, the title is going to be number. The title is going to be number. And then it's going to be the default is going to be zero. It's kind of a hint in how I want a zero in there first. If they just press enter, I don't want it to error out of me with nothing there. So I go ahead and press enter. A lot of these things, you can head off errors by, by typing in what you want. Then, uh, or typing in what you expect. It's kind of works in a subconscious. Uh, it kind of hint hint. <laughs> I want a zero here, so I make it a default value. That way it avoids user confusion. Okay, so it's your number application. Android number. Now I'm using the is numeric function. That's a, a another advanced function. So I want to tell if the number is a numeric value or not. Okay, so use the is numeric function to validate that the number was entered. Okay, this is all at one clause, so I'm doing an if function here. Yeah, this is a more advanced. So, uh, you may you may want to skip over this, but if you want to listen in, go right ahead. So if is numeric, the number that I just entered, if it is a numeric value, then convert the, the string value to a, a double data type. So here I'm converting the number from a string. If it is a numeric value, if it's not like an A or B or something like that, I'm converting it to a actual number. So I'm saying, okay, well now it's a number it's a real number, put it into a numeric, and a double uh, holds a decimal value, so that's why I'm using a double for here. Otherwise, if not, that's where my else comes in. So if is numeric, that's your number. Okay, pseudocode would be like um, if if it's your number, it's actually a number. Pseudocode is what you would say in real English. 
So if is numeric, if is numeric, then do this. Otherwise, else, if numeric value is not entered, give it a value of 999. Okay. So again, this is to head off any errors because you would run into an error if otherwise. So I have an error. Uh, I have a 999. I'm just a, and 99 is a number I grabbed out of this error because uh, pray they could go up that high. 999. If they do, I have to try a bit. But I mean, I, uh, chances are that they won't choose this number. I mean, I could choose one million if I want to. And they probably wouldn't go that high anyway. Now evaluate the number that was entered. <clears throat> so here, I'm using this select K statement. Okay, select K. Oh, I have a typo. Whenever it understands that it knows what select K is, but it doesn't know what Ed select is. So I'm typing a N here. Okay, and I'll format this and make it nice and pretty. I always need to format my things so that I can read them better. Okay, and I suggest you do the same. So I'm selecting the case of whatever this number that they entered. Saying if the number is between, okay, that's your message between the 0 and 1, if the number is between. Uh, 0 and 1 the number if the case is between 2 and 2 to two, 2 to 3 it's between 2 to 3 it's a 99 error 999 that's up here I established that because it wasn't a wasn't a numeric value and then uh, uh, the case L's number greater than 3 and show the user a message based on their entry okay so I'm going ahead and doing that so great if I go ahead and uh, press F5 here enter and I notice I have this zero here and uh, there's the, the, the message is this no it's a title number and this is my default so zero um, just saying, okay, for granted, oh, I clicked the wrong button. Between 0 and 1. Okay, that, that was, uh, so I avoided the error by going here and just putting a default value here. If I didn't have the default value there, go ahead and, and get rid of it, I would error out. Error. Okay, it's, there's nothing there. Because I put a 999 there. Uh, it was blank. So actually I hit it off my own error. But I'm hitting it. I want a, want a value there. A demerit value. So here I'm going to type in uh, 3. Between 2 and 3. And here I'm going to type in 987 greater than three so my events might change it based on the based on whatever I input in the box so I can step through this code again six so if it is numeric the value is six yes it is so I'm going here and saying six okay. in case else the, it, the value is greater than 3. So it's greater than 3. So I type to 6. Now, what happens if I type in some text? Like this. Well, that's my number. Now it's not a numeric value. It is numeric. As your number. Now another thing you could do when you get to this point, if you want to, if you're confused, if you don't know, if you don't, if it's not real obvious to you, you can go to your media window. And you can press Control and G, Control G, and select this, select this, 
S serial number. That's called your immediate window. Control G. Okay, notice the immediate window. Then type a quote, uh, as a question mark, and then your stuff, your text, and okay, well, and then press enter, and then false would mean that it's a false value. So that could be a real helpful, helpful item to you. Again, control G, or go up here to this debug window. Uh, no, actually it's not. Uh, oh, <clears throat> sorry, you go to view and you press immediate window. It's the immediate window, notice control G. So it's view immediate window. View immediate window, okay. So even I'm making a mistake, sorry. Anyway, I should get to do it. So, so we go ahead and remember we typed in some tags. So now it's a error. Okay. That was S of whatever, some text, some alphanumeric characters, the error. So we have an error. Okay. And so there you have it. That's your uh, that's your best box, VBA Info box with the uh, best box and a lot of other stuff too. So thanks for watching.